Hi everyone, Holly Pike here from SVG for Fun and Profit. Welcome to my studio. It's Christmas time, so what do we do at Christmas time? We make Christmas decorations. So today I'm going to go through seven Christmas decorations that I made that are easy for you to make. You can do this at home, no big deal. I'll go through how I made it and the supplies that I used and I'll link everything in the comments so you won't have to remember it. If you're watching this video on YouTube and you have a question, please drop it down in the comments. I'll answer the first few that come in and that should answer most of the questions for you. If you're watching this and you can't make a comment, then please feel free to jump onto my Facebook group, SVG for Fun and Profit, and ask the question and I'll be happy to get in there and answer it for you. Okay, so let's have some fun. The first ornament is a follow-up of the last video I did and that was let's make glitter ornaments. So this one is a glitter ornament that I made and you'll notice it it says uh, Jesus and a cross on that. Um, may appeal to everyone, may not, that's okay. You can put your own vinyl design on there, whatever you'd like. But this is a glitter ornament that we made and to make that glitter ornament was pretty easy. I did a video called Let's Make Glitter Ornaments and reviewed the various things that I used and tried to make glitter ornaments. My winner was the Minwax Polycrylic and I used the clear gloss. I just like it. You can use the other one which is a matte gloss. It'll work just fine. The Home Depot brand works fine. Watch that video. I'll link it. But this, I used this. I put a little bit inside the ornament, swirled it around tipped it upside down on a little piece of paper towel roll and let it dry. When it was all dry, I dumped a little glitter in there, shook it around, dumped the rest out, and I have my glitter ornament. The next thing to do was just to cut your vinyl, whatever the design was, and to put the design on it as you would any other sticky vinyl on any other product. If you've never applied sticky vinyl, that's okay. It's easy. I have a video, I'll link that in here for you to watch how to apply sticky vinyl. The next one I did started with all kinds of blanks here to show you. Started with a wood blank, a thin wood blank, it looks like it's about a quarter inch wood blank. And this I got from, I got it on Amazon, and I, it's a company called SotoLaserCutting.com. Um, I'll link this. And there were about a dozen of them in here, and they're they're kind of neat ornaments. So I just took the ornament and I painted it white. I used craft paint. I just used plain old craft paint from Michaels. It, I happen to use a flat paint, and uh, it takes a couple of coats, but you know, hang in there, you'll get it. Paint it white, and after I painted it white, I put a very light coat of this polycrylic. Uh, the Minwax Polycrylic on it and let it dry really well for like a day. After that, I then cut my little ornament and I'm going to include these designs ready for you to cut on my blog for you so there'll be a way for you to get them to make your ornaments. And um, so you put your design on and then on the back I just put Merry Christmas with a little bow of um, elastic, colored elastic uh, tie, I think that would be called, and, and a hanger. So that's number two. You could put a penguin on both sides if you like, if that's what you want to do. I just put Merry Christmas on the back. So again, this is just a painted round and decorated with a design that I made specifically for that round. The next one, you've seen these little containers. If you open them up, you can put goodies inside. So I picked marshmallows because I wanted to do a snowman. And then I made snowman faces and I will again make this design available to you. If you're watching this video you'll know where to go to, to go and get it. And you can make these little ornaments. I just filled it with marshmallows, put the design on with sticky vinyl. Again the video will be linked here for you. And you have a cute little uh, snowman ornament. Okay that's number three. The next one, I started with an acrylic blank. I got these on Amazon. Amazon is your friend. And um, I think there were, I don't know, I think there's a dozen or 24 of them, 20 in the pack. And they come with a paper coating on them. So I took my 
my weeding pick and very carefully got a hold of that paper and just peeled the paper off on both sides. And now you have a clear acrylic ornament, kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can put a piece of paper up behind this guy. Now you can see the ornament. And again, all of these designs will be ready for you to download so that you can make your own ornaments. For the hanger, I took three pieces of ribbon, three different pieces of ribbon, and just braided them together, put it in there, and tied a knot, and there you go, a quick little, orm little ornament. You can personalize this if you'd like. It's all sticky vinyl, so you just apply the sticky vinyl the same as always. Cute little ornament you can give, maybe personalize it with the year, or baby's first Christmas, or something of that nature. Okay, let's get this out of the way. The next thing I did was, you've seen these all over the place, these tile ornaments. This is a piece of um, tile, like bathroom uh, wall tile or, or such. And I painted the back. Some people put felt on the back. I just kind of got all the glue off it with a piece of sandpaper. And then I painted it. It looks, I think it looks finished and it looks fine. I glued this hanger on with, I used two things. One called Jewel It. I got these at Michael's. You can probably get them on Amazon. And the other is Gorilla Glue. I used both and they're both holding up very, very well. I understand you can use E6000 as well. I've not tried that, but uh, many people have, so you can try that. But this ornament, I just cut the Noel and that's right here. It cuts like that and I transferred it using my transfer tape just like sticky vinyl and put it on the design on the, the tile when I was finished I just put a light coat of polycrylic on it just to hold it and keep it nicely and then while the polycrylic was wet I took gold and green yep gold and green um, glitter and very lightly sprinkled it I don't know if you can see the glitter on there. And just very lightly sprinkled it on the top for just a really pretty finish to my ornament. And put a hanger on it, and there it is. You can put anything you like. This is about two inches, a little over two inches. So you can put any two-inch design on there. And that's cool. Now, glitter ornaments. We already talked about glitter ornaments. I use this blank. It's what they call the disc ornament blank. It's kind of fat, uh, skinny. Um rather than the round. I like this disc because this one is harder to put a design on because it's round. And when you try to put something flat on something round, you can run into problems. But the disc is so much easier. You just have to be more patient with the, the full round ones. So the disc is um, just a little bit easier and the opening is a little bigger as well. What I did with this one, you see the color inside and glitter. I put the Minwax polycrylic inside and swished it around. Then I put a drop of red paint, craft paint, nothing special, craft paint, and swished it around with the with the um, poly polycrylic. After that was done, I took a drop or two of the green and put it on the other side and just swirled it around a little bit until it got to the way I liked it. And then I put white glitter, extra fine glitter, inside and lightly coated it. When I was done, then I just put it upside down on my little paper towel, piece of paper towel thing, and let it dry. And it all ran out, all the excess ran out, and it dried up. Then I put Ho 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 on there, and this cap was silver and I thought well that's gonna look kind of odd with the gold ho 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 so I just took my regular gold craft paint this one happens to be a metallic paint and I very lightly and you'll be able to see that it's not completely covered it's more like um, uh, antiquing and I just put a coat of paint on that and on the top of my little hanger put a multicolor elastic hanger on there and there you have another ornament really quick and you can do all these polycrylic things at once you can kind of stack them up and do them all at once and then the last one you, you all know I love dogs that's my that's my uh, my heart 
uh, dogs and, and music, and, and of course my family, but yeah, dogs. <laughs> so um, this one is another one of those disc ornaments, and I took fake snow. And let me grab my fake snow. Sorry. I got this frosty snow from uh, Michael's. And it's a big bag for like $4.99. It's a big, big bag, and it'll do lots and lots of ornaments. And then this is the thing that takes the longest is getting the snow in there because it's fluffy. So you want to make sure you have something underneath your project and uh, you can clean it up easy. And I just packed it full of snow and tapped it down, tapped it down, tapped it down until it was really full. I put the little topper back on, put a little bow on. This can be turned so we can actually see the bow on the right side. And now this dog... I'm not going to give you this chihuahua because everybody doesn't have a chihuahua. But this dog is a set of um, dog breeds that I have that are exclusive to me. And they are on my Etsy store, which is SVG Dog Breeds, I believe it is. But I'll link it. And I have about 54 dog breeds on there. And you can resize them for a shirt or for a tiny ornament or whatever. And they cut beautifully. And this happens to be for a friend of mine for Christmas. Her little guy's name is Rambo. And he's about six pounds, so that's the ornament for him. These are all very simple, very easy ornaments. Easy, easy ornaments. So let me go over again the things that I used. I used blank wood blanks. You can get these in hearts. You can get them in all, all different kinds of shapes. I will link it. I used acrylic rounds. I used... These ornaments, you can get at Michael's, you can get them on Amazon. They're pretty common around Christmas time and right after Christmas. I used glitter. Any fine glitter is fine. Some people say you have to use really expensive fine glitter. Mine work with Walmart glitter. so. Um, and then Minwax Polycrylic or the Verithane water-based polyurethane from Home Depot works. That's good. Craft paint. Just mine called Craft Smart, Craft Paint. Be creative. You'll have a lot of fun with it. I used something to glue my hangers on the tile. And then little hangers that you also can get from uh, Amazon. They have all kinds of them on Amazon, different different types. And then, of course, my, my designs, my vinyl cut. Let's turn it this way. There you go. My vinyl cut to put on your ornaments. Uh, my tools were my picker, my tweezers, my mallet to close my verithane, my, my polycrylic, scissors, scraper, paintbrushes, and I think that's about it. But basically, there you have it, and here's some very, very cute Christmas ornaments for your friends and family, or yourself for Christmas. So that's the video. If y'all are watching on YouTube, please subscribe. Please click the bell so that you get a notification when I put out a new video. Also, if you haven't come over to my blog yet, please come on over. I have free things over there and I'm offering stuff to you all the time. And that's svgforfunandprofit.com. I'm on Facebook, SVG for Fun and Profit, and I'm on MeWe, which is Cricut, Silhouette, Scan and Cut, etc. Come and join me. Come join the fun. I'm giving away some new designs on the uh, MeWe group, so come on and join me. Again, my name is Holly Pike. Thank you for joining me for Let's Make Christmas Decorations.